In the world of tennis, Goran Ivanisevic was always considered an underdog. With his fiery temper and inconsistent play, few believed he had what it took to win a Grand Slam championship, let alone Wimbledon, the most prestigious tournament in the sport. But against all odds, Ivanisevic achieved what many thought was impossible back in 2001 when he emerged as the unlikely champion at SW19. This is a story of perseverance, determination and one man's unforgettable journey, from wildcard to champion at the Wimbledon Championships. Get ready to relive Ivanisevic's historic triumph. Coming up today on Forehand Frenzy. Goran Ivanisevic was born in Croatia in 1971. His father, Sirian, was a professional footballer and his mother, Gordana, was a school teacher. Ivanisevic started playing tennis at the age of seven and was soon recognized as a talented player. He turned professional in 1988, aged 17. Ivanisevic had a successful start to his career, winning his first ATP Tour event in 1990. He reached the finals of the Wimbledon in 1992 and 1994, but then suffered a number of injuries and setbacks that hampered his progress. Ivanisevic was a serve and wallier and played a fast, aggressive game suited to grass courts. He was known for his powerful and accurate left-handed serve, particularly his first serve that was clutch and is widely considered one of the most dominant servers in the history of tennis. He often won entire games without the ball being returned. Like many serve and volleyers, Ivanisevic's return game and defense was weaker due to his powerful but inconsistent ground strokes. On the backhand side, he would often use the slice instead of hitting with topspin and used a chip and charge tactic to come to the net. In 1992, Ivanisevic's 6-7, 7-6, 6-4, 6-2 semi-final victory over Sampras was particularly impressive, with Ivanisevic serving 36 aces and not even facing a breakpoint in the entire match. Ivanisevic reached the Wimbledon final for the second time in 1994, where he was defeated in three sets by defending champion Pete Sampras 7-6-7-6-6-0. Sampras would go on to dominate the Wimbledon grass court championships for the rest of the decade. In April 1997, Ivanisevic became the only player to defeat the King of Clay, Thomas Muster, in a Davis Cup singles match on clay. Ivanisevic defeated Muster 6-7, 7-5, 6-7, 6-2, 7-5, Muster having won 112 of his previous 117 matches on clay going into the match. During 1997, Ivanisevic also got back up to his career high ranking of world number two, although his ranking fell down to number 15 by the end of the year. In 1998, Ivanisevic reached his third Wimbledon final, facing Sampras once again. Ivanisevic started the match well, but failed to take set points, which would have given him a two-set lead, and Ivanisevic eventually lost to Sampras in five sets, 7-6, 6-7, 4-6, 6-3, 2-6. Despite his early success, Ivanisevic had to wait until 2001 before finally winning his first Grand Slam title. That year, he won Wimbledon, beating Tim Henman in the semi-final and Pat Rafter in the final. It was an emotional victory for Ivanisevic, who dedicated his win to his Serbian coach Helena Jencic, whose teachings about visualizing positive results ahead of upcoming sports fixtures would later have a profound impact on Novak Djokovic's tennis career. In 2001, there was plenty of drama on the court as Croatian underdog Goran Ivanisevic battled through to win the tournament after hours on court in emotional final match against Patrick Rafter. We mentioned earlier that Ivanisevic had come close to winning Wimbledon before, losing in the finals in 1992 and 1994. He had also been ranked number two in the world in 1994, but a shoulder injury derailed his career and he slipped down the rankings. By 2001, he was seeded number 125th and was only given a wildcard entry into Wimbledon. Many doubted that Ivanisevic could make any impact at the tournament, but he proved them wrong with some impressive wins in the early rounds. He then survived a five-set thriller against Tim Henman in the quarterfinals before beating defending champion Pete Sampras in straight sets in the semi-finals. In the final, he faced another unseeded player, Patrick Rafter. The match went to five sets, with Ivanisevic finally emerging victorious after four hours and 43 minutes. It was a huge upset, 
and an emotional moment for Ivanesevic, whose fans and supporters went wild on the crown as a tearful Goran absorbed his long-awaited moment of glory. But the months leading up to this unprecedented victory looked far less promising. During his second round at the 2000 Brighton International, Ivanesevic was defaulted after he smashed all three of his rackets and had none available to complete the match. It was a complete embarrassment, he told the Associated Press. At least when I've finished playing tennis, they'll remember me for something, they'll say. There's that guy who never won Wimbledon, but he smashed all his rackets. Ivanesevic entered the 2001 Wimbledon tournament ranked 125th in the world. He had missed much of the previous year due to a shoulder injury and had only played in two tournaments prior to Wimbledon. Despite his low ranking and the lack of recent match play, Ivanesevic was given a wild card into the main draw. To date, he's the only male entrant to have won a Grand Slam singles title as a wild card. His Wimbledon success was rated 16th at the list of 100 Greatest Sporting Moments by a British television programme. In the early rounds of the tournament, Ivanesevic faced little resistance, winning his first four matches in straight sets. He then faced fellow Croat Mario Ancic in the fifth round and won a close three-set match. This set up a quarter-final matchup with top-seeded Gustavo Kuerten. Kuerten was a defending French Open champion and was considered a heavy favourite against Ivanisevic. However, Ivanisevic played one of the best matches of his career, defeating Kuerten in straight sets. He then went on to beat Tim Henman in the semi-finals before facing Patrick Rafter in the final. Rafter had beaten Ivanisevic in their two previous meetings and was once again considered the firm favourite. However, Ivanisevic would not be denied winning a close three-set match to claim his first Wimbledon title at age 29. When Goran Ivanisevic finally won Wimbledon in 2001, it was after years of trying and failing. The Croatian had been a runner-up at the All England Club in 1992 and 1994, and he had lost three other semi-finals before finally getting his hands on the trophy. Ivanisevic's win was emotional, not just for him, but for everyone who watched. It was an underdog story for the ages, one in which a player who had been written off time and time again finally triumphed against all the odds, proved the doubters wrong and cemented his position in the annals of tennis folklore. After his victory, Ivanisevic retired from tennis. He had achieved everything he had set out to do, there was nothing left for him to prove. He ended his career with 22 ATP Tour titles to his name, including the mammoth special win at Wimbledon. Ivanisevic will always be remembered as a great tennis player, but it is his never-say-die attitude and his resilience in the face of adversity that will truly inspire future generations. Ivanisevic retired from tennis in 2002 due to persistent shoulder injuries. He now lives in Monaco with his wife and two children. He occasionally works as a tennis coach and commentator and has been integral to Novak Djokovic's support team throughout many of the world number one's most recent Grand Slam campaigns. Ivanisevic played football for the Croatian team Hajduk Split in 2001. A supporter of English team West Bromwich Albion, he became a fan after the Midland club's escape from Premiership relegation in 2005. He wore an Albion shirt whilst warming up prior to the 2006 Blackrock Masters final and finally watched his first match in December 2011 as West Bromwich Albion played Queen's Park Rangers at Loftus Road. In 2012, Goran was inducted to the International Tennis Hall of Fame. Goran Ivanisevic's Wimbledon triumph is a story of heroic perseverance and underdog success against the odds. He worked hard to keep himself in the game, never giving up even after 14 failed attempts to win a Grand Slam title. His journey was an emotional roller coaster for both him and his fans, imbued with entertainment throughout, but it all paid off in the end when he won the historic championship. His story has inspired millions around the world who are looking to succeed despite overwhelming odds. Thank you for joining us today for this illuminating tribute to the inspirational Wimbledon victory of Goran Ivanisevic. We hope that you were moved by his story and we invite you to share your own thoughts and memories of this tennis legend in the comments below. While you're here, 
why not subscribe to our channel? And here are two more videos we have a strong feeling you're going to also enjoy. See you over there, and until next time, keep hitting those forehands and never give up.